I was but a child, and the words of my village folk cut deep, like the sharpest blade. They said I was a mistake, an error in judgment. Yone, my older half-brother, was everything I wasn't. Respectful, cautious, and diligent. We were inseparable, and he defended me against the taunts of other children. When he began his apprenticeship at the village's renowned sword school, I followed, enduring monsoon rains until they finally opened the gates. Despite the mockery of my peers, I showed a natural talent and caught the eye of Elder Suma, the last master of the legendary wind technique. He saw potential in me, but my arrogance held me back from accepting his tutelage. It was Yone who gifted me a maple seed, a symbol of humility, and after that I accepted the role of Elder Suma's apprentice and personal bodyguard. I trained diligently under my master's guidance, honing my skills with the blade and developing a deep connection with the wind. When news of a Noxian invasion reached the school, my classmates and brother left to fight. I was ordered to remain behind to protect the elders. I longed to join the battle. And one rainy night, I foolishly abandoned my post to do just that. But what I found was not a glorious fight, only a mass grave for Noxian and Ionian alike, tainted by something unnatural. I returned to the school only to be accused of murder and dereliction. Elder Sumo was dead, and I knew I had to find the true killer. I fought my way free, knowing it would only add to my guilt and confirm their accusation. With a heavy heart, I set out on a quest to clear my name and find the true killer. I became a fugitive in a war-torn Ionia, hunted by my former allies. I fought to survive and uncover the truth. My brother Yone eventually tracked me down, and we dueled. My wind magic overcame his blades, and with a single flash of steel, I cut down my own brother. In his dying words, he relented that wind techniques were responsible for the Elder's death, and that I was the only one who could have known them. Lost and broken, I roamed the mountains, drowning my sorrows in drink, a sword without a sheath. But fate had other plans. I met Talia, a young Shuriman stone mage. I became her teacher and trained her, embracing the teachings of Elder Suma. Our paths eventually diverged, and I returned to my village, determined to make amends and find the true killer. In the council hall, it was revealed that Riven, a Noxian exile, had accidentally caused my master's death and she felt deep remorse. But I couldn't absolve myself of the choices I had made that led to the deaths of my master and brother. I eventually journeyed to a Spirit Blossom Festival in hope that its healing rituals would ease my heart. It was there that I encountered a demonic creature known as an Azakana that sought to devour me. But Yone intervened and spared me. Rather than vengeance, he gave me a bitter blessing, 
and let me go. With nothing left for me in the first lands, I embarked on a new journey, burdened by guilt, but determined to find my redemption, like the wind seeking its path through the world. I am Yasuo the Unforgiven. 